entrepreneurs will be gathering for a seminar series on how to get a startup business off the ground. Jim Ewing is the organizer. He's also the co-founder of ProVision Solutions Incorporated. He joins me now in the studio. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Mark. Thanks for coming in early this morning. It is early, isn't it? It is. It is, but that's all right. That's, that's what we're all okay. about, getting up early in the morning. Get started. If you're going to start your own business... Got to have some initiative. You better learn that. Absolutely. So what is the uh, seminar series all about? Well, uh, we've just come through a terrific time of celebration. Small Business Week across Canada has mm -hmm. been celebrated. And, you know, I love that time of the year. Um, it, it showcases some of the finest entrepreneurs, business people that we have in the country. And well done to each and every one who's been recognized. And I think for, for the rest of us, I don't know if people know this, but roughly one in five workers are self-employed in this country. And Alberta is kind of a leader in that area. Yeah. And so my thought is, for those who have been inspired and perhaps motivated now because of these successes, how are we helping those that want to now start a business of their own? So that's what the series is all about. It's to cover off some of the basics of what a person needs to know to get a business up and running. And, and in this case, in the Metro Edmonton area. So is this for somebody who is hasn't started a business yet, maybe has never been in business, but wants to learn the basics, like what's what's my entry into it, that sort of thing, right from the beginning? I think that's exactly who it's targeted right. for, those who are thinking of starting a business, or even some of those who have started but maybe missed some of the basics before yeah. they opened up the doors. It's a good time to catch up. So what are some things you should consider before you ever start a business? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, well, thank you. you know, people have uh, all sorts of ideas as to what they think is going to fly, but how do you really know? Do you just uh, go out and wing it and see, hope it, and pray that it actually works out? Uh, an idea is terrific, but it's just the starting point. What do you do with the idea to test whether or not there is an actual opportunity attached to it? And so that's what we're going to do is we're going to help people take a closer look at the idea and test the merits for it. So analyze it a little bit? Analyze the, the concept and see if there is a market for the product or the service that you have in mind. So uh, I sometimes tell audiences when I'm talking to them about entrepreneurship or starting a business, uh, without a customer, you don't have a business. So yeah, do you sense. have a customer? Yeah, who's the customer for this, right? Exactly. So it. can you identify who the customer is and then find out how many of those potential customers are there? What competition are you up against? There's a lot of things to think about before you take the leap. Do you think, you know, in Edmondson we have got Startup Edmondson, which is a kind of an incubator for, um, I think, a lot of tech companies, but, uh, but not all tech. I mean, they've got shoe businesses, that sort of thing in there. Um, so, so there is a lot of this sort of feeling about how you should get going and a lot of support for it. And is that what you're trying to do? Give those, give these people support, especially in St. Albert, I guess. Yeah, well, uh, I've always said that entrepreneurship is a team sport and there are many players. We're very fortunate in the Metro Edmonton area and in Alberta, first of all, to be where we are. Right. With all of the opportunities business, yeah. that we have in this province. And then beyond that, um, there are a number of great supports, and I guess I've worked in this space for over 30 years, small business development as well as financing, and I really love the space. I love to see people take their hopes, their dreams, and their aspirations and make something positive out of it for themselves, for their families, and for their community. And this is uh, part of what's going on in St. Albert, too. I think you've got the Chamber of Commerce involved, that sort of thing. It's a bit of a community building thing, too. Right? Absolutely. Uh, we went to the parties that are involved in business startup in this specific community and this is something we've done in other communities too and would love to extend that to uh, a broader audience but working with the Chamber of Commerce with the uh, economic development officers that are there. In St. Albert we have the Northern Alberta Business Institute that uh, that has uh, incubator, pardon me, right. Northern Alberta Business Incubator that's been around for 25 plus years and doing a terrific job. And then we've worked with partners like ATB Financial that you're well familiar with and um, uh, Myers Norris Penny, they're involved in this too. All of these parties are going to be on the program and great business people from the community telling their stories of how they overcame some of the challenges. It's going to be a great time. Do you have any stories like that you want to share? <laughs> for myself? Stories? Well, yourself? Well, or let me give to? you one short example, okay? And I draw this one. I was just over the weekend in correspondence with one of the presenters that we had in another community and uh, started as a home-based business. Mm -hmm. And uh, from early stages from the idea. She worked in the corporate world and then wanted to kind of test the idea. If I was to start a business of my own, she attended one of the seminar series several years ago. And uh, she- What kind of business was it? Uh, they're involved in making excellent chocolates. You're probably oh, familiar okay. with Jacqueline Jacek. Oh yeah, yeah, Jacek sure. chocolate. Matter of fact, they have them at Transcend Coffee. We, uh, we 
at some of the finer places. Beautiful. (laughs) They are terrific. And Jacqueline was just such a wonderful guest to tell her story in another community about how they started from a basement and now expanded much beyond that. And award winning, as you probably know. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, are there are there aspects of, of your personality you kind of have to have if you want to be a successful entrepreneur? Yeah. Uh, there's a, a number of things that over the years people have uh, kind of identified as characteristics that would be uh, in a successful entrepreneur. But I, I really boil it down on the startup stage of three things. Everybody who is trying to start a business is willing to start. They're willing to take that step of mm-hmm. faith. But I really think uh, a lot of them aren't necessarily ready. They haven't necessarily done the research. They may not understand the demand or the potential for that product or service. They probably don't really know who the competition is. And some of them may not be able to actually start the business. They may not have the resources or the network that is needed for success. Characteristics, you got to be driven. You need to have a passion for what you do to be truly successful. And combine all of these th- things together, the passion plus the insight, and you're on the right track. Yeah, I think passion is very much important. Jim, thanks very much for coming in and talking about this morning, and best of luck this weekend. Thank you so much, Mark. All right, Jim Ewing is the organizer of the Business Startup Seminar Series in St. Albert. It's a four-part series that starts Wednesday. Jim brought in two single tickets for some aspiring entrepreneurs who'd like to attend the Business Startup Seminar Series. It starts this Wednesday. All you have to do is send us an email at edmontonam at cbc.ca, and they will be yours. Thanks very much.